Hello everybody, welcome back. We're gonna tie the Adams dry fly. Um, and uh, I've done some research to do it the original way that Leonard Halliday tied it using a TMC 100 size 14, uh, just a tannish thread. Holiday used black uh, sewing thread, cotton for almost everything. Uh, Halliday is from Michigan and uh, from Mayfield, Michigan. Tied this fly in 1922 for the first time, as according to him. Tying in two grizzly hackle tips. The original used uh, Halliday Ray's Plymouth Rock and Rhode Island red roosters to use for his tying. Plymouth Rock would be basically your, your grizzly. The Rhode Island red, your, your dark brown, reddish brown. These wings were tied up front on the hook, and they were tied uh, advanced, meaning leaning forward, and semi-spent, so spread out. So I tied them pretty close to the, the top there. I'm doing a bunch of cross wraps to spread them out. I'm cleaning up these fibers as you, as you catch them. Uh, securing that wing in. The tail is a uh, golden pheasant uh, tippets. Uh, the original pattern was two. Halliday himself evolved this fly to later uh, change the wing set to be more upright, to have more pheasant tippets as the tail, and to uh, wrap the hackle a little bit more in the front. We'll talk about that in a second when we get there. The name of the fly uh, came about because uh, Halliday and his family owned a, a hotel in Mayfield and they catered to uh, hunters and anglers. And one of their regular customers was a gentleman with the last name Adams. And on the day that Halliday first tied this fly as an experiment, he uh, gave a bunch to Adams who went off to the Boardman River to fish that day and uh, reported back a lot of success with it. And uh, when he asked Halliday what, uh, what's the fly's name, he told him, well, you're the, the first to use it and the first to have a lot of success with it, so we'll call it the Adams. The body is gray wool yarn. This is a uh, Shetland Spindrift yarn, so a natural uh, wool. The original uh, and a lot of Halliday's patterns used yarn was Chadwick's, of course, the famous um, yarn manufacturer from England. Uh, those of you who are really interested in uh, historic fly patterns, I'm sure know of Chadwick's from Frank Sawyer's Killer Bug. Uh, it's a, created by a famous color of Chadwick's, which if you can find Chadwick sells for crazy amounts of money. This uh, hackling is going to be a grizzly and a brown. I'm using uh, cape feathers here from Collins. And I'm going to wrap uh, a bunch behind the wing and only a couple wraps in front of the wing. Again, because this was really advanced. Uh, later, uh, after I did this video, I got a great book by uh, Smedley, which I'll, which I'll put in the description, and show some images of the fly, uh, and all of the hackle is, or 99% of the hackle is done behind the wing and quite bushy. Uh, so uh, if you go to tie this more originally, uh, the way Halliday did, you'd do a lot more wraps. Uh, and a lot more space behind the wing of the hackles and a lot less forward. I also, uh, uh, when I, I put a picture of uh, this fly up on uh, Facebook and uh, James Slattery, uh, the, who's actually in this group I'm in, uh, who's the inventor of the stimulator, uh, sent a link around to a great article, which I'll also include in the description here that, that has some pictures of original Halliday flies tied in it um and i'm going to also put that here in the video so you can see that 
and uh, you know see a little bit more of the style that I'm talking about here. This fly is super famous and has been adapted in so many ways. There's a there's a, uh, a feminine version of the Adams with with uh, an egg sac. The Catskill School took over the Adams and uh, made it their own. We'll talk about that in a second. There's parachute Adams. There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's one. It's a super super famous fly. It uh, looks like a lot of different kinds of insects and buggy. Very very versatile pattern. And, uh, and, and that's why it's been successful. Just uh, pushing everything back so I don't catch too much here when I do the whip finish because everything's kind of close to the head there. These, this fly is not delicate whatsoever. So um, you can push and pull and, and move, move things around. I'm going to readjust it back to the original position as I clear up the, uh, yeah, put, put them more advanced and more spent like they were before get the hackles more upright after I push them and, and, and spread that tail out. Uh, and then we'll do a 360. Uh, meanwhile, I'll talk about the Catskill School, of course, took this over using uh, uh, brown and grizzly rooster hackle fibers for the tail, uh, long and stiff, uh, muskrat fur, under fur gray for the body. There's the original Halliday from that link from Slattery, which I'll put in there. Uh, here's a, a little bit more of an upright version. Here's Halliday uh, and his more upright version. This would be more the Catskill school here, muskrat fur. And that is the fly. Thank you, thank you. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe and uh, we'll do more.